Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Staff Liturgy. This time at the moment is, is a strange one for lots of us. Um, there's lots of things changing right now. We're, we've come to the end of the first week of, of more children being back in school and, and that means lots more of you will, will have been back in school. And some of you will be preparing to go into school in the next in the next few weeks. So I'm aware that there's, you know, for a lot of us, a lot of anxiety building up, some worries, some stress. Um, and for some of us as well, worries about our own children going back to school and what that means. Mixed in with that, there's probably also the feeling of of, of going back to school being a, a positive thing. Um, that we're going to get to experience some of the things that we've missed, some of the things that, that, that we've been used to and some of the reasons why we do our jobs. For me, there, there are quite a few things that I'm, I'm missing about, having, about working from home and not being... Uh, in the office and in the schools, um, I'm missing the, the craziness of of colleagues and and friends and seeing all the the weird and wonderful things that, that people are doing in, in schools and in the office. Um, definitely missing spending time with with some of our, our wonderful young people and seeing their creativity, seeing the things that they can come up with. I'm sure that for a lot of you, you're feeling the same. So I thought it might be nice to see a little bit of a snippet of that. So. Here are three uh, staff members from our trust sharing a little bit about what things are positive in their lives at the moment and some of the things that, that we might be missing from, from our normal lives at the moment. Enjoy. Right, gone to the dogs a bit during lockdown, so better tidy myself up for Tom's video. Make sure I look okay, not like I am at the moment. Better get my hair done a little bit too. Oh hi everyone! So many things to be grateful for during lockdown. For example, time with my beautiful dog Ruby here and taking her and her sister Lizzie for walks in the beautiful countryside. Here's my cat Benji. Very grateful for him. He was hit by a car in the third week of lockdown and I'm so grateful to the vet who saved his eye. I'm also grateful for our other cat, Thea, who died aged 22 the same day that Benji had his accident. She had a good life though. Here's my non-animal best friend, my bike, which I'm very grateful for because I can go out and about every day and enjoy the beautiful Leicestershire countryside. Look at it, just stunning to see as well. I'm also grateful for surviving a push from a motorist uh, into the hedge along this lane and very grateful that I have a sense of humour and don't hold a grudge. Hope everyone's staying safe. Hi everybody, I'm from St Winifred's in Shepshed. I'm Anne-Marie and this is just a snippet of what we've been enjoying doing when I've not been at school. Um, you can see here that my children have made themselves a human sundial and the best thing about this is that as people are walking along the street on their daily exercise they can come and tell the time from where they're standing so you can see from this shadow the white one is at four o'clock so it's now just past four moving on to half past four if i just check the time oh not bad not bad okay um we've left them some chalk out as well so they can help themselves um, and all ages right from the toddlers who can't speak yet up to adults and thought this was a really good activity and enjoyed it and some of them said wow oh, pet man excellent welcome to Christ the kit hi <laughs> it's really nice being in lockdown because i get more time to do a lot of things that i might not be able to do normally like i get to spend more time with my family and i can also um i have time to clean out my bedroom and um, find things that i might have lost um, a while ago that i haven't had the opportunity to find um i um i like to be in lockdown because i get to spend time at my home and i get to go outside and feel my and here at Christ the King, one of the biggest challenges we have is that we work across two sides with an infant and junior. Do you so 
<laughs> that's right. And during lockdown, obviously, we have been able to come together and work collaboratively. Lots of children across the year groups all working and, and helping each other out. And it's been really, really lovely. Absolutely fantastic. And those, those three videos just show some of the reasons why we, we go into schools and do our jobs. We're going to spend the second part of our time together now in prayer. So we begin the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is a reading from uh, the second letter to the Philippians. Don't worry about anything. But in all your prayers, ask God for what you need. Always asking him with a thankful heart. And God's peace, which is far beyond human understanding, will keep your hearts and minds safe in union with Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's probably easy to say, isn't it, don't worry. But we, we hear in the Bible over and over again, God telling us not to worry, to not be afraid, because he will be there with us. We've just celebrated last last week, last Sunday, the Feast of Pentecost, when, the, when Jesus sent his Holy Spirit to be with us, to give us courage, to give us strength. And this Sunday, we'll be celebrating the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity. Just wanted to share with you uh, the picture that's on the screen now. And our e-teachers amongst you will be very, will be very familiar with this. Um, it's called Rublev's icon, and it's a very famous image that attempts to depict the Holy Trinity. You can see in the image the Son sat in the middle, wearing red to symbolise his sacrifice. The Father is to the left-hand side there, dressed in the gold symbolising his divinity, his power and on the right hand side we have the spirit dressed in green symbolising growth and new beginnings they're sat in a triangle shape showing equality showing the fact that they're, they're, all, they're all one God and the bowl in the middle contains lamb symbolising Jesus' sacrifice however the symbol that I want to draw your attention to is the gap right at the front between the Father and the Spirit. And Rublev left that there intentionally. So there's there's a space there for us to be able to get to God. Just want us to take a moment now to bring any of those anxieties that we feel, maybe about going back to work, maybe about the, the situation in general, the worries that we might have, also our positive memories, our happy memories that we have of being in school, of seeing our friends and colleagues, spending time with, with the young people. And just to bring them to God now. Offer them up to God. And we'll end our time together with a prayer. The words will be on the screen, so feel free to join in. May God's presence enable us to face whatever the future holds, whatever may await us. May we hold fast to his reassurance that he will attend us and abide with us, even to the ends of the earth. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good weekend, everyone. Uh, I hope this, the sun comes out and it's not too rainy and you get to spend some quality time with your family. Bye.